Hello and welcome to this mindfulness meditation and session looking at freeing the inner child. Many of us carry wounds from our childhood that affects us even to today. And even sometimes we think we've got over these wounds. That in the past, we can't change them. But a great way to understand your inner child work is reparenting. You practice responding to yourself in ways others did not know when you were a child. Were your sadness or anger may have been dealt with disapproval or neglect in the past. You can choose to be there with protectiveness, love and empathy. You can use the power of your adult self to create a healing inner parent an inner child relationship. This meditation is a guided inner child meditation that creates a safe, gentle and caring environment. However, judge wisely if you need more support from some more traumatic events or memories. And this particular guided meditation depends more on feeling safe and comfortable than feeling alert. So take a moment to get physically comfortable sitting or even laying down with pillows and blankets. Turn off any beeping or buzzing devices so you have some uninterrupted quiet time for practice. And at this point, I'd like you just to take five deep, slow breaths, relaxing each more on every out breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and holding it there for a second. And breathing out, relaxing more and more. Breathing in and breathing out. And your final breath, a nice deep breath in, breathing in that calm and relaxation and breathing out any fears or anxiety. And at this moment, I'd like you to let a current upset or challenge come into your mind. Let the thoughts and emotions that usually accompany this situation, just to let them to arise freely. Just take your time and just keep breathing. And when you have these thoughts or upset or challenges in your mind, just gently scan your body and notice any areas where this upset is manifesting. Maybe there's some tension in your jaw or your stomach. If the upset seems to intensify when you do that, that's okay. Just come back and focus on your breath for a moment. Know there's nothing you need to do, but just listen as compassionately as you can. And as you listen, you can actively ask a question like, what is it that you're feeling right now? Or I'm, I'm just gonna stay here with you. Is this something you need to need right now? And listen carefully for a response to your genuine interest and love. It might be verbal like, I'm mad or no one cares about me. Or it may be energetic, you notice a feeling of anger or a feeling of emptiness or loneliness. Emotion and body sensations may be the only language your inner child has. So do your best to listen with your whole awareness. Staying grounded in your adult self, who is very safe and resourceful. And if you start to feel upset yourself, come back to your breath again and just use your senses to connect with the present moment. And if you notice you're getting into an adult mind, interpreting or thinking about what's happening, Pay attention again to your body. Feel your hands and your feet, the surface underneath you. Reconnecting with the physical sensations of the moment 
will let you go of needing to figure things out. Just keep listening to your inner child. Ask questions if it feels appropriate, but don't grill them. Go at their pace, not yours. And if, like many of us, you've not always been a good listener of your inner child's needs, it may take a while for her or him to open up. This may be the reason your inner child's feelings have remained unsolved. This is an opportunity to create a new loving pathway to all parts of yourself. And when your child shares a feeling with you, validate it, tell them and let them feel that you understand how they feel. If they tell you what they need or want, like being held or do that for them. Or if they say they're lonely, tell them you love them and you're always there for them. Meet their need fully. And as long as they want to take it in, let them decide when it's enough. So cycle through these periods as long as you wish. Listening, asking, validating and responding with love. Ask a few of those questions now. Visualise yourself and your inner child stood in front of you. Safe and calm and relaxed. And that's ask it any questions about the past, about the history, about sometimes why you feel the way you feel. I'll leave you for a moment just to sit with those questions. moments ago the need to listen to ask to validate and respond with love is key to you working with your inner child to overcome the shadows or the traumas but before you finish let your inner child know you're almost done but you will be there anytime they need and just ask before we go visualize them see is there anything else they want to tell you and see what they say. And at this point, just do a final scan of your body for places of relaxation or release. What has happened to any areas of tension you've noticed at the beginning? Have they subsided? Has your inner child and showing them love and trust respect and safety allowed you to work through some of the traumas of the past as the adult looking at the inner child. Allowing us to heal our wounds. This reparenting meditation allows you to see your inner child, for you to be the adult for you to listen with compassion, giving them warmth and attention, being able to ask what's wrong and listen, and don't rush in with an adult interpretation. They will validate what they tell you, but express how much you love them 
no matter what they tell you. Good parents know that just using words is not enough. The child needs to feel the love you have for them. And when a child feels you're doing all these things, they're less anxious, they're more cared for, they feel safely, and they can easily express how they feel wrong. Don't judge, just offer support for these traumatic events and memories. And then just finish with a few deep breaths, wiggle your fingers, and come back into the room. If you choose to do this work, and it can be sometimes quite unpleasant or difficult, but the inner child work will strengthen your ability to listen to your difficult emotions. It can heal you and make you a compassion, empathetic support for yourself and for your loved ones. And this isn't a one-shot cure, but it's a proven tool that will help you create a new inner relationship, one that will create more peace, well-being, understanding, and importantly, love. Thank you for listening today. Please let me know your comments of how you found it. Be love and give love.